the Kotec Pure Sine Wave Inverter. This is a model S150224 and it's designed for a nominal input of 24 volts output 240 and the input limits are 21 to 30 volts. Okay, now this one had an interesting fault in that it would not um, run for more than about uh, two seconds when you first turned it on. And I accidentally had the power supply on about 12 volts and lo and behold it uh, stayed on, which seemed very odd for a 24 volt inverter. Um, but having said that, the uh, output waveform was closer to a uh, square wave than a sine wave, so something wasn't right. It wasn't just a matter of this actually being a, a 12 volt inverter, which had been mislabeled. Um, so it turned out that what was happening is the over voltage circuit was uh, coming into operation sooner than it should be. Um, now just a brief overview of how this inverter works. Um, there's four MOSFETs here which are connected in an H bridge uh, to create the AC which feeds this 150 watt toroidal transformer. Um, and there is a PIC chip, uh, 16F819, uh, which drives the whole thing. And looking at the circuit, I measured the voltages on all the pins and found that pin 18 was taking a sample of the supply voltage through a voltage divider, 56k, 10k, and this was being used to um, detect if the input voltage was excessive. So it seemed to me that by uh, bringing this voltage lower that the inverter could be tricked into operating on its correct voltage of 24 and indeed I found that adding an 8.2k resistor across the 10k would actually do this. Um, so that got the inverter working but the um, problem was that the under voltage circuit was not operating and uh, I had to add these extra components here and the way that this works is that if we assume we've got 24 volts here this transistor switches on because the 18 volt Zener conducts feeds base current into the transistor and connects the 8.2k resistor uh, across the 10k so the inverter starts now if the voltage reduces um, below about 18 volts, the Zener no longer conducts, the transistor switches off, and the 8.2k is taken out of circuit. So it effectively reverts back to the over voltage condition and the inverter shuts down. Um, I thought that there might be. Uh, under voltage detection at this pin 18 but it doesn't seem to be it's occurring somewhere else um, and not having a circuit diagram I'll probably never know but anyway I've tricked it into working um, so it seems to me that the fault was that the PIC chip has somehow become reprogrammed to think that it's actually in the 12 volt model of this inverter. Now I don't know if that's possible or how it's happened but I do know that um, this inverter has been used in an area that's you know prone to lightning strikes. Um, 
so anyway that's yeah a, a bodgy repair to uh, get the inverter going this is another one of these Kotec inverters um, this one's had a bit more damage done to it um, the pick chip is completely dead uh, nothing at all comes out of it um, each of these MOSFETs has been short circuited the uh, IRF3205 and having tried replacing the MOSFETs and borrowing the pick chip out of the other inverter which I've just shown um, I promptly blew two of the replacements and it appears to me that this thick film I see here has a defect in it uh, because looking at the four outputs that drive the MOSFETs I found that one of them was low in voltage so presumably the, the drive to the MOSFETs was not uh, as it should be but um, yeah so th this inverter will just be for spare parts there's no hope of uh, getting that IC um, and I wouldn't even bother because there could be something else wrong and yeah impossible to get circuit diagrams for these things I mean a lot of people think oh yeah just look it up on the internet but uh, that's you know only true if someone's actually bothered to upload it in the first place uh, and given that this company Kotec um, seems to be uh, very short on uh, support um, yeah the chances of that are happening uh, uh, zilch <laughs>